the Joe Rogan experience. You know, so like, that's the crazy thing, right? Like you don't, you're not just doing something, but yeah, you're also self-filming. Trying to film, so you got to like, yeah. And they, do they give you tips on how to film? Yeah, they give you film tips before you go out. I actually found, like this wasn't everyone's experience, but I found it was like kind of nice to have a camera because when I'd been like, fur trapping in Siberia it's like you're just alone alone and everything you do just feels like nobody's ever going to know about it you know right. like you do all these cool things and you uh, no one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like I'd been out there for a few weeks and I came into like a beautiful woods in Siberia you know and I remember being like wow and then I was like oh weird that was the first time I've spoken out loud in like three weeks you know so oh, I was wow. like so it's just saying wow yeah well I, like caught my attention oh that was my voice you know like and then of course your mind's really active but it's just all in your head but on the show with the cameras you know it's like you're constantly like hibbity, hibbity, talking about stuff and oh, wow. <laughs> so, so it kind of made me feel like i wasn't quiet as alone so when they tell you when they give you the camera equipment and tell you to go out and film yourself how much battery life do you have uh well you get this big like car battery size pack that you can like recharge your batteries with uh -huh. and then they'll occasionally come on like med checks to to see, make sure you're not too skinny or something like that. Really? Yeah, yeah. How often do they check on you? It varies. Sometime around 10 days-ish or something. So every you know, 10 like days, roughly. they're like, oh, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah have they had people die out there? <laughs> not yet, no. Fortunately. Do they, they, do they give you a bell to ring or something? To you, have a them... thing, you have a thing that you like, it's the thing you would give up with, like if you were ready to tap out a what red is it, button. Like a Garmin or something? Yeah, it's like a, you can send texts on it. Oh, okay. And then, uh, like so an you text reach, them every yeah. morning and night and basically say, I'm okay. Oh, and, wow. And so they know you're okay. If you don't do that, then they'll come probably see if you're alive still. Oh, wow. But, wow. And so, what, are they, I would imagine their show is entirely dependent not just on you succeeding but documenting everything. Yeah, they very I think that I mean they were very clear with us like the you guys have to document everything. We need 8 hours of footage a day minimum, you know like Wow. And when you're out there, do you have a solar charger? No, no so but you know it probably wasn't a lot of sun up there that time of year. Mm. But that big battery block, and then you got a lot of little packs, battery packs, mm -hmm. and it, it's kind of what restricts where you're, you know, where you live is that you, you have a hundred pounds, of, yeah, yeah, <laughs> gear. So, so when you're swinging an axe at this Wolverine, you, you got all that on film. <laughs> yeah, it's like even the shot. Yeah, well, you can see me. It's like I, I'd like because I heard him coming. I heard him coming. And because my my cans were a long ways away, you know, right. like a ways away, and it's like clank clank. I was like, oh so Jesus! So I just tripod, ran out with my out. tripod, my camera, set oh it on. Oh my god! In because he had a trail, so I knew generally where he'd be coming. So I just set my camera up, put it in that direction, and that's kind of where he came. So that would be a giant distraction. Like, yeah, <laughs> that would make it so. Because I know that I, happens. I missed the first moose because because there was a different moose that I had shot at that I totally missed, but. Uh, big giant dinosaur of a moose it was so cool to see but uh i grabbed my bow and arrow and my camera and ran out there set the camera up took my shot and i was like oh i didn't grab my quiver and so my first shot i misjudged the distance and dropped the arrow between his legs i was like oh Oh no! I only grabbed one arrow because I grabbed my stupid camera. Oh. <laughs> so, Did he run when he when the arrow came near him? No, I like dropped between his legs. He looked around. I totally would have had time for another oh. shot. It was a real kick in the pants. So oh then I, oh my god, he kind of took off, trotted off, and I was just like, man. Did he know you were man. there? Was he aware of you? Not too aware. Like I took a shot. He like heard it, knew something was up. What had happened is I had set again like those cans up as a warning system, and I heard him like in the morning hit the cans, and I figured that would just warn me. One, you know, like if if something hit the cans, it would wake me up, and I could go out and try to hunt it. What actually happened is he went through the cans, scared himself, and ran like perfectly in my direction, and turned around and looked at the cans, like broadside to me, like. I came out and it was just a perfect shot, but it was 40. I paced it off afterwards, 43 yards. And he was such a big animal that I thought he was closer. So I put him at like 30 yards uh, guessing, you know, and I missed my first and only shot. So uh, <laughs> I was like, ah, did you call him in? Yeah. I've been calling moose. Like every day I would just pick berries, just, call moose. It's like, 
Hey, yeah, yeah, good one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's very good. I think Never, they'd come. Yeah. <laughs> Get it in your lungs. I learned that from my friend Mike Hawkridge. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, when you when you're doing that, you're you're waiting a long time, right? You're calling them, and then you're just sitting yeah, around would, waiting. Literally, it was like. I'd find a good berry patch and just sit there and eat berries and call and eat berries and call and uh yeah and that's all I would do and honest and I think both the bull moose that I saw came into that calling because it would always but it would take them a long time so I'd like call all evening and then they would usually come in in the morning which was interesting so Crazy. it's not like they they come from miles but yeah they must have come from a long ways away they come like huffing and puffing all in the rut Whoa. and stuff like yeah <laughs> it's so cool I could just hear them going noises. yeah yeah they say they're so vocal yeah Whoa. And it's More. nice you can mimic their voice with your voice. That's yeah, the nice it's, thing about moose. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's not like mm -hmm. an elk where you need right. a tube. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can actually make the, the horny cow <laughs> moose yeah, yeah, noise. Yeah, exactly. Just um, got to get into it. So were you in the, was it in the rut? Yeah. Oh, fall. that's lucky. So I was, was that yeah, on by fun. design for yeah, them? Yeah, they want to give you a chance of getting yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Now, so. you shot that moose. How did the other people survive? And how many people made it to A the... lot of people just through toughness, you know, like just starving out, like, dude, you know, that you were pointing wow. out. Just, just catching a few rabbits here and there, you know, like uh, fishing is a big thing, you know, like. Uh, but, yeah, it was it was nice to have the moose for oh, sure. Oh, I can and only I, imagine. <laughs> I knew I had to. It was like, I don't, I'm not going to have a chance if it was starving. Just I would have been out of there so fast. Did yeah. anybody else get a moose? No, uh, uh wow. I assumed someone would, but it's, I mean, again, with a recurve, it's pretty hard. Plus you haven't ever scouted your territory, so you don't right. know how things are going. Uh, because I was so focused on getting one right from the bat, like right when they dropped my helicopter off, it was like, I went out and scouted like where might moose come in. Did and, you bring binos? No, you can't take those, but you I can't just, take those. I just put my shelter where the wind would always be blowing my scent out to the sea, you know, out to the, mm. and taking into account all those little things you know like uh yeah building my shelter away from where moose might walk by so that mm -hmm. i wouldn't blow up a spot you know all that kind of stuff so how did the other people what did they eat yeah it was did i mean you talk a lot of to them after it was like afterwards. someone made it to 77 days before they quit right? 72 or three so they yeah. let you go an extra four days yeah because a storm came in and they couldn't get out there did you know, know about it did no you... i had no idea oh wow just, plugging along out so there. who the fuck made it to 72 days uh it was a girl named wonia and she and another guy named nathan made it um, you know this his shelter burnt down and that was kind of the end for him both of them made it right up to 71 72 days his shelter burned down he said i'm not making another one I quit. yeah i mean it was cold at that point be pretty wow, tough. there's a girl yeah look at her this is her uh, she caught something with her bow Old game pheasant or something. Oh, and she's sad. She's happy, I think. Happy oh. to finally eat. Yeah, then she cooks it up. Here. Wow. She's chopping it all up. Mm. Yeah, and so yeah, they would eat. You know, as everybody God, did. How but red that is. You just eat everything. How crazy how red that bird's meat is. That's nuts. That looks yeah. like a, a like a beef. <laughs> you know what I mean? It looks like right, a, right, a, red meat. A venison bird, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Look at her, so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. So she almost was, uh, she almost made it. Yeah, she did really well. But uh some fucking yeah. ballsy people to do this. Yeah, it's pretty intense. You know, like good for everybody that tried cuz you do get like Yeah, but they don't get shit. Intense. They right. get zero. Yeah, they yeah, get yeah. ungots. <laughs> you get 72 days of starving Fred, lady. I know. It's rough. <laughs> and one guy walks away with a half a mil. Yeah. That's crazy. All or nothing. How much moose did you have left at the end of the show? couple hundred pounds you know like wow. I, I still had a lot yeah you were was, good to go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how many pounds of it were you eating in a day as I, much as i could i was just so packed. hungry I, plus right? i was having fish so i would have fish for lunch and then more breakfast and like dinner i would eat moose and i was just i basically i told myself well i can't quit until i finish this whole moose <laughs> 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 let me eat it as fast as i can <laughs>